on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I'm I agree. No, I, I agree. Look, I, I'm going to say this and I'm gone. Because I ain't got to say that. Because I think Quest and Mr. Let Go, they hit upside the head. Everything they said been on point, And it's legit. But it's another thing I've been hearing on YouTube streets. And I'm really getting tired of it. This SBE shit. And I, <laughs> I, I, I'm in totally, what is it? Shame. Blame and explain. Shame, blame, blame and explain. And, explain. and for the most part, I mean, it's like, look, we can't shame these motherfucking women out of doing nothing they want to do. At the end of the day, they're going to they gonna say this shit on YouTube and they're going to got them go back and they're going to do what they want to do. So, like I said, when I had these conversations, I don't necessarily have these conversations directed to the women on the panel. I hope some of the women can see, you know what I'm saying, with our discussions. And, you know what, I love Courtney Michelle because she's the voice of reason when it comes to these topics. Mm-hmm. But you know, Siobhan, the more bodies and the people you encounter, the more damaging you're probably going you're to You're damaging no, yourself. I'm not even talking about sexually based. No, 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 no. And, and, I'm not talking about sexual. Trying out a different kind of dudes. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I agree with that. that. I do agree with that. You like, can't pull your encounter with you. all these men. That's that's gonna rub off on you. Like that's that's transferring. Your baby daddy probably rubbed off on you. Like you don't want to encounter so many men like that. Like Anton, Siobhan, like Rita. Rita was a virgin. Rita was a virgin. She didn't. She doesn't have all that toxic men that we've probably dealt with, right? Yeah. So she did. She did. You, she didn't need to deal with multiple partners to get her married, and probably quest life too. So. Well, Siobhan, let me let, let me say let me say this, Siobhan. I've been married before, and that don't that doesn't make me better than anybody. But the experience of being married and the mistakes I made and how things went or whatever, that was a beautiful experience. So now in my next marriage, whenever I get married, I know exactly what to do because I've been married before. A lot of these people ain't never been married, ain't never really committed to nobody. So they're gonna end up being divorced when they 40. Because they get married when they tw- uh what 30, 35 or whatever. Next thing you know, they're gonna be like, Oh, I'm not fulfilled. Because you never experience marriage. You experience all this other stuff. And women love to say, Well, I want to experience experience. What about marriage? That's an experience too. My marriage was a beautiful learning experience. Hey, you're the pink side. You act consistent with your feelings. You on pink, you're the pink side. You act consistent with other feelings, Mr. Let Go. I need Yo, you that, that, that needs to be your, your Instagram uh uh thing. You need to put that on Instagram, Twitter, every time you post that you your, your, your avatar. <laughs> so Mr. Let Go, what would yes. so okay, so I, I get what you're saying in response to to me saying what I said in regards say to the word, say marriage. marriage, say it. You to said marriage and everything like that. But I'm saying, does that should I be detoured from a man that's never been married? Like he, like it, it, like should what? I? Yeah, I said get married. What do you mean detour from a man that's not married? What do you mean? You're saying that the experience. I'm saying get married is is what I'm saying. But Women why are we, afraid of why marriage. Are we, why are we promoting treating marriage like? Oh, an experience, you know. No, it doesn't work out. It ends. If it doesn't work out. You could just get divorced. Like yeah. I think it's I think no, it's I'm just very, saying if it I ends, it's if it good. if it ends, that's better than being a single mother, is all yeah, I'm saying. But, but what I'm saying is that I think it's very serious. And if you're not a hundred percent sure and a hundred percent committed. I don't think you should just do it for the. You're never going to get married if you're a hundred percent sure, I, because nobody's a hundred percent anything. But I'm saying if 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 my I'm person, saying if you have doubts, women will have a whole baby, I'm, I'm saying, but okay, they so won't get rephrase. married. So I want y'all to think about that. So a woman will have a whole it. baby, I'm, but won't get married. Which okay, one is okay. is uh, okay. the bigger I get, I get that. Although the birth rate is down, I get that. I'm saying if you have doubts. <laughs> Now we you're right. Have doubts. Nobody could be a hundred percent on anything because. Did you have you, doubts when you had a baby or had way. sex with a dude? I'm sure you did. We all like when when your period was late. Then you have doubts like, oh shit, my period late. Like we all have doubts no matter what we do. A chick period late, I'd be like, oh shit. If your period late, you'd be like, oh shit. 
If you get married, you're like, oh shit, what if it don't work? It's all the same thing. We're human beings. There's going to be doubt in anything we do. But the bottom line is we got to stop doing these children like this and looking at just nutting in somebody or getting nut in. It's just an experience. No, get married. Hey, Mr. Oh, Lego, you indecisive right now. You indecisive. What you said that. earlier is contradicting what you said now. You I don't really contradict indecisive. myself. Uh, tell me exactly when I contradicted myself. You contradict it because you at first you said, you know what I'm saying, you acting like you care. At yeah, first you yeah, said you don't you, give two fucks. Tell me when I contradicted myself, Pink Side. You just did. You just said no. let them you you said they don't they don't do what you say they doing. And you say you don't give a fuck. So now you showing you easily influenced and you submissive to these women on the panel. I coach you know, women. So I'm, I'm just going you know in my coaching bag. I, I actually coach and, women for a living. So I'm just doing what right, I so do. Here's what I say on the topic, right? Let me, let me, I'm talking to the ladies right now. And not necessarily you ladies that's sitting on here on the panel, but if the shoe fit, wear it, okay? Y'all better be careful listening and following behind. What's this girl's name? Lori Harvey? Be yeah. careful. Be very, very careful. And here's why. First off, y'all ain't in the same tax bracket as her. Additionally, you ain't in the same fucking beauty bracket as her. She has the ability to hold off, right, longer than the average woman when it comes to getting married. That nigga's gonna be fine until she got damn 60, just like her damn mama. <laughs> and she got a daddy, though. Most women don't handle daddies. Mr. Let go of femininity. Let me give, give me a second. <laughs> Bro, that wasn't even funny. <laughs> give me a second. Nah, you know I'm just playing with you. But this he tried, shit, though. This shit been funny, though. <laughs> anyway, y'all don't have the same ability. So if you falling, if you following up behind her, right, she will have you out here old and yep. motherfucking single and alone with a dog or one of them stinking ass cats. Mm -hmm. Okay? Be very, very careful, ladies. What we try to tell y'all is the best path to success is not going to be waiting like how she going to do. She different from y'all. She different. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to say. I agree. No, I, I agree. Look, I, I'm going to say this and I'm gone. Because I ain't got to say that. Because I think Quest and Mr. Let Go, they hit upside the head. Everything they said been on point, And it's legit. But it's another thing I've been hearing on YouTube streets, and I'm really getting tired of it. This SBE shit, and I, <laughs> I, I, I'm in totally. What is it? Shame, blame, and explain. Shame, blame, blame, and explain. explain. And for the most part, I mean, it's like, look, we can't shame these motherfucking women out of doing nothing they want to do. At the end of the day, they going they gonna say this shit on YouTube, and they gonna got them go back, and they gonna do what they want to do. So, like I said, when I had these conversations, I don't necessarily have these conversations directed to the women on the panel. I hope some of the women can see, you know what I'm saying, with our discussions. And, you know what, I love Courtney Michelle because she's the voice of reason when it comes to these topics. 